Saboteurs. We all have them. We all have an inner saboteur. Each of us, uh, every day when we wake up, the, 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 there is uh, that inner voice that is, is seeking to sabotage um, you know, the activities and focus that we have in terms of you know, how we want our day to turn out. Hi, my name's Steve Gaskell and I'm a high performance business coach. And today I just want to give you a short insight into how, you know, and, and your, your saboteur is turning up each and every day and, and how likely it is to, to start to derail you achieving the, the performance that you're looking to achieve. Now, uh, I, you know, I, I tend to work with uh, a whole number of people and teams in terms of actually unlocking and developing, uh, um, you know, higher performance. One of the key aspects of doing that, one of the key focuses of doing that is having the ability to to recognize what's going on inside and not just treating the symptom. You see, all too often we have a tendency uh, to just treat the surface, treat the symptom, treat what we are presented with without actually determining what the root cause is. And what I want to give you an introduction to today is actually probably the root cause of some if not all of the the limiting beliefs limiting behaviors challenges that you face the uh the the, the reason that you won't take the step to you know do that thing the commitment um, or maybe your inner belief in what is actually achievable and you know none of that is meant to sound uh deflammatory or rude or anything of that nature it's just a matter of fact and you know to answer that question you know for the vast majority of people if you were to take a, a, a moment's breath and think you know am i right now here at this moment where i want to be have i achieved in my life right this moment what i wanted to achieve and certainly for the vast majority of people that might not be the case and it might be that in your team you have got people that you know have got uh, you know greater potential greater performance and they're not really pushing themselves to that level and in all likelihood in all likelihood that is going to be down to that inner voice the judge now primarily the judge focuses on three key issues it focuses on judging yourself judging your environment and judging others and think of that for a moment reflect on that for a moment and you'll almost certainly realize that you know or, you know throughout a day there will be occasions where you judge yourself. Uh, there'll be occasions where you judge the environment that you're in. And uh, I'll be absolutely certain that there will be occasions where, you, you know, you are judging others. It's almost innate as being a human being. The challenge is that we, uh, uh, you know, have created these habits. We have empowered our own inner judge. We, we, we you know, we've learned it over the years. You know, when we were children, we didn't we didn't judge in these you know facts in these manners. You know, if you think as a small child, generally speaking, we were probably really engaging, probably really nice. You know, but over years, with our environment and our influences that we've been open to, that we've we've, we've created our own inner judges. Now, it's not just about the judge. There is also what we call the uh, accomplice saboteurs, and there are nine of these accomplice saboteurs. There is uh, the pleaser, the hyperachiever, the hyperrational, the hypervigilant. We've got uh, the um, stickler, the controller, the avoider, and then there is the the the, the restless accomplice saboteur, and finally the victim saboteur. Now, each of these accomplice saboteurs then really start to focus in onto the fine detail of getting really in your head and slowing you down. Let me give you an example. So I've been coaching for, uh, you know, many, many years. And when I started out, for me, my accomplice saboteur, my head accomplice saboteur was the pleaser. And just think of that for a moment as a pleaser. You know, I, I in my mind, the judge was screaming that you've got to make sure that they leave with a smile on their face when you give them a coaching session. You must make sure that you're not being too tough on them. You must make sure that you, you know, you build a friendship. Now, as a high performance coach, none of that helps. In fact, all of that is going to do anything but allow me to tap into people's uh, and help them enable to tap into their potential, to unlock their potential. And so that accomplice saboteur would make me an appalling coach. So what did I do? Well, I had to engage my sage mind, my sage brain. And this is where we can think rationally and logically about the situation we're in. 
Now, in the first instance, we've got to activate that mind. You've got to be aware that it's there and there is a different way of, of dealing with the saboteur. And when you've got that inner voice telling you that you know, there's something you can't do, shouldn't do, you know, won't do, then stop. Give it a label. Recognize it. In fact, give your judge a name. Give your judge a name. No, uh, I call mine the Wily e. Coyote out of the cartoon. And I do it because when it, when it turns up, I activate my sage mind by giving that, that wily e. coyote, you know, the, the rock that falls on it from the cliff to shut it up, the piano that falls on it, the Akeem dynamite that blows it up. And that image allows me to always just quieten my, my judge when it turns up. Now, for me today, my, the volume is very, very low. My judge isn't, a, you know, a, 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 a vast noise in the background of my head. Far from it. It's, a, you know, a low volume. But when you then look to activate that, you know, recognize that the, that the, you know, the judge and the, the saboteurs have turned up. So that's the first power of the sage mind. The second is to empathize. Actually, take a moment just to realize, you know, picture yourself as a young child to you know, recognize actually I'm human and, and yeah, this, this, yeah, this is, this has happened, but it's not necessarily who I am and empathize with it in that respect and then break the barriers down. The third is to explore, to seek, to, to, you know, have that exploratory you know, zest of, of there is, you know, other ways, there's new options, blue sky thinking in, in many respects, and it links nicely to innovate which is the fourth sage perspective to engage your creative mind and really open up to that blue sky thinking. And finally, you've got the navigate that just in the, in, in the reality of where you are right now. Okay. So if that is a challenge for me, then what is another way where, which is another direction? What's the better path to take? Now I can't dive into the fine details of all of these today, but what I'd like to challenge you to do, is to uh, you know go to um, a website i'll put the link in on this uh to um it's, it's the positive intelligence the pq website by a guy called Sizat, and he's a genius he's, he's come up with uh, you know recognizing the judge and the saboteurs and our sage mind and he puts a free assessment go do the assessment and once you've done the assessment maybe on the chat jump in and, and put your assessment in there uh, take a screenshot of it and share it with us. Uh, you know, let us know what your thoughts are in terms of who you see as your your top accomplice saboteurs with your judge. And that awareness is the first step to really start to recognize that inner saboteur that you've got and to start to label it. And most importantly, to start to actually do something about it, to quieten down that saboteur and activate your sage. I hope that's helpful. Thanks a lot.